Hello, and thanks for tuning in to Art and Soul 2021. I'm Dan Lyons from Toward Independence. And I'm Annie Shaver with Partners for Community Living. This year, Art and Soul is in person and online. The gallery is on display at the downtown Dayton Metro Library the entire month of April. You can view the gallery on the second floor of the library, which is accessible by elevator and stairs, and get up close and personal with each of the pieces. Meander through the gallery at your own pace any day in April. If you need any other information, check out Art and Soul Exhibit on Facebook or www.artandsoulohio.com. We hope you enjoy this year's pieces as much as we do. All of the artists did a phenomenal job. And a big thank you to our sponsors this year. We know that many county boards have been abundantly supporting our organizations, and perhaps yours too, with COVID-19 relief programming, but they still chose to support Art and Soul. Big thanks to the Board of Developmental Disabilities from Montgomery County, Butler County, Greene County, Hamilton County, Warren County, and Franklin County in conjunction with ARC Industries. And we are exceptionally grateful for our event sponsor, Hutchison Pharmacy, which has been a major supporter for numerous years now and continues to encourage the expansion and quality of Art and Soul time and again. Thank you, Hutchison Pharmacy and the County Boards. Okay, that's enough from us. We hope that you enjoyed this year's show. All of the artists have so much to be proud of. We hope that you'll join us in celebrating each piece and artist in this year's show. Enjoy. Dancing Queen by Paul Legg of Paul Legg Photography. Paul is a self-taught photographer, so everything he knows about photography he learned on his own. He's been doing photography for nine years. In his water drop photography, he uses the most advanced microsecond timer to capture the life cycle of a water drop. The beauty only lasts for a single millisecond. Angels We Have Heard on High by artist Brett Garrett of Inside Out Studio. Brett's style is to use geometric shapes and patterns in very deliberate manners. He has a good sense of color and the colors he chooses to work with reflect his playful personality. Angels We Have Heard on High is an acrylic on canvas. Brett loves to draw directly onto the canvas and then fill in shapes and the areas as he works. Hanging Out by Noah Hogan of Passion Work Studio. Noah loves to create. He enjoys taking his time, including all of the details in his drawings. He has an expansive knowledge of nature, animals, myths, and science. He also loves biology and geography. He is the author and illustrator of the Krabby Book Series, which employs a similar art style that you can see in Hanging Out. Dish by Jody Mann of Inside Out Studio. Jody creates new art very quickly and has completed many commission pieces, both paint and glass works. Dish is a fused glass piece. The piece incorporates striped red glass with bold crimson and amber. Jody is known for painting and drawing flowers that has been translated into this image for the glass and then the sloped dish. Abstract City by Scott Scooter Brooks of Passionwork Studios. Scott, aka Scooter, finds inspiration in nature, art history, art magazines, and books. He enjoys recreating images in his own unique drawing style. Scooter is meticulous in his making process, taking his time and tending to every detail. He plans to continue his journey by submitting similar pieces to Abstract City. After Matisse by Cassie Sullivan of Inside Out Studio. Cassie has an active imagination and creates art based on fantasy and observation. After Matisse is a mixed media painting done in homage to Matisse's The Red Room. 
The piece has a strong sense of lines done in permanent ink and color and has been overlaid with washes of watercolor. Bistro Table by Jordan Lyons from Clark County slash Jordan's Nifty Knits. Bistro Table is a small three-legged table that was coated in epoxy resin and stirred through with several different types of dye. It was also sprinkled over with sparkles. Perpetual by Nick Dummett of Madison County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Nick's family typically vacations on Lake Erie during the summer months. He is inspired by the area and likes to photograph the water and its surroundings. Perpetual is a waterfall with a green and light brown mat and large wood-like frame. Angler by Marvin Hart of Hocking Valley Industries slash Can Do Creations. Marvin Hart lives in Logan, Ohio. He's inspired by his interests in Harley Davidson, hot rods, and old music, which shows through in Angler. The nuts and bolts remind him of the mechanics and the building blocks in motorcycles. He incorporated a lot of different found objects into Angler, using wood, metal, and glass marble. Cactus by artist Shannon Cox of Inside Out Studios. Shannon enjoys focusing on paintings, but has recently begun working on glassware and clay items as well. Cactus is a piece that was designed and created in fused glass. Glass pieces were layered and then assembled and fused in a kiln. Hot Flowers by Jared Doze of Creative Foundations. Hot Flowers is another one of Jared's pieces. It is a watercolor and ink piece on paper. It features a green cactus mid-bloom. Phoenix by Eric Morgan of Creative Foundations. Eric enjoys painting, drawing, and building model kits. Other than doing artwork, he loves spending time outdoors, fishing, and swimming with family and friends. Thank you for watching and immense gratitude to all of our sponsors. Check back in tomorrow for the next gallery video and then for the award ceremony on Saturday, April 17th.